when you're on a first date at the local steampunk festival. <laughs> it is appropriate and necessary to jab the out-of-towner you're with in the ribs, snatch his camera and shove him aside when he attempts to solicit Tom Waits for a photograph. <coughs> Explain that around these parts we have an unspoken code. The first rule of a Tom Waits sighting is not to acknowledge that you're having a Tom Waits sighting. <laughs> when the date says, I love that dude in Mystery Man, I love his acting, ask if he likes his music. When the date responds with, I don't know, I've only heard a little, walk away. <laughs> Wonder what in the fuck you are doing at a steampunk festival with this tool in the first place. Wander across town to a dingy bar, Play San Diego Serenade on the jukebox and weep over your bad fortune with men. <laughs> At some point, you and Tom Waits will end up regularly dining in the same restaurants and pop-up diners. Resist the temptation to barge in on his family dinner to tell him how driving home through Humboldt, through Humboldt County one night with the kids and the soon-to-be ex-boyfriend sleeping in your car, a pirate radio station played Watch Her Disappear as you maneuvered twists and turns through towering redwoods. Don't exclaim across the restaurant how those two and a half minutes were the only decent moment of your road trip. <laughs> Enjoy your meal and prepare for the sense of panic that will come when your editor mentions his presence at one of these eating establishments in an upcoming article. You won't see him there again for a long time, but it will all be okay. Have patience. When you bump into Tom Waits at the local Apple Blossom Parade, do not attempt to remove or otherwise fondle the buttons on his denim jacket. <laughs> Resist the urge to reach out and touch the disheveled curls peeking out from under his hat. Be confident in knowing that others before you have told him that Tango Till Their Sore is in their top ten list of all-time favorite songs. No need to accost him and proclaim your love as he attempts to secure the lid of his coffee cup. <laughs> Be cool. Your friend who works as personal assistant for Tom Waits, might show up at your clothing swap with a bag of his things that were meant for Goodwill. This is the only instance you are allowed to have a complete meltdown. <laughs> Take his blue and gold tie, breathe in the faint scent of coastal air and eucalyptus and diesel fuel. Believe he wore this while growing out with Bob Dylan. Put on big time and do a little dance. Cry when your friend snatches it and gives it to her loser husband. When you spot Tom Waits seemingly speaking to himself at a crosswalk near your favorite coffee shop, don't pull over and interrupt. <laughs> Refrain from blabbering on and on about how blood money came out at a brutal time in your life, how all the world is green was the theme song to your most epic heartache, how you listened to it at least 837 times when you grieved the death of the same person who devastated you, how you put the kids to bed at night and sit in the dark and sob. Know that in this moment, as Tom Waits crosses the street in front of you on that grey autumn morning, that he is likely channeling the lyrics in a yet-to-be-written song, and they are forming on his lips in that very moment. Sit at the stop sign. Let your eyes meet his for a brief, divine moment. Listen to every song on the next album. Guess which one you helped him bring into the world from behind your <laughs> Look up into the sky. When you bump into Tom Waits, not once, but twice on the stairs at the premiere of Silver Linings Playbook at a local film festival, accept his apology and offer him popcorn. Don't suggest that diamonds and gold should be in the imaginary movie you're making about your life. <laughs> know that laughing and crying in unison with Tom Waits as he sits a few rows away from this Mill Valley theater must mean something big. Like the time you reached out your hands as the Dalai Lama walked by that talk in Tuscan. Like in those rare moments when your mind slows down and opens up the words you need to be writing, know that wherever this dude goes, there is some divine presence accompanying him, and tell yourself, for whatever it's worth, that since you've come in such close contact so many countless times, and kept it so incredibly pat yourself on the back cool over the past <laughs> two decades, that maybe some of his magic will rub off on you as well. Yeah.